What's up guys, in this video I want to talk about genetics as an overall topic and why I feel it's important for people to study genetics. So genetics is the study of genes and uh, the role that genes play in society and the evolution of man. So um, in my recent, some of my recent videos I've been referring to genetics quite a bit um, and the reason why I feel like genetics is very important, I feel like it's one of the most important subjects actually is because human beings nowadays in our such, so sophisticated society uh, and economic state we tend to forget about our origins and our nat true nature and the fact that we are actually animals and not a lot of people feel comfortable to refer to themselves as animals but it's the truth. We are animals just like lions are animals, just like hyenas are animals. We have animalistic drives, we have aspects of our brain that are, uh, that are thousands of years old, hundreds of thousands of years old and we just have to accept it. So why do I feel like studying genetics is very important? Because I mean your, your, your body is configured, uh, was configured based on the genes of your, of your parents, your ancestors um, and just the mere uh, acceptance of the fact that you wouldn't exist um, without your parents conceiving you your parents uh, mating and providing a, uh, the ability for biology to take over an egg and a sperm cell and control the process of creating you is very important also what you want to understand about genes is that genes can genes basically determine the majority of your behavior besides the external factors such as environment you grew up in but genes control the majority of the, the majority of the success that you have in life and the majority of the behaviors that you have in life so take for example one person person a and one person person b person a has the uh, has a healthy brain person b has a healthy brain but person a person a's um chemical chemical structure the chemical um movement the, the movement of chemicals in their brain is different to, chem to person person b in such way such a way that the way that the chemicals in person a's brain moves uh, causes that person to experience stress twice as much as the pers uh, as person B. So that's a genetic factor. The gen the, your genes control the, the chemical balances, the chemical movement in your brain, the chemical balances in your brain. So uh, stress has a magnific magnificent, um, plays a magnificent role and has a ma magnificent effect on one's behaviour. If you're stressed, you're more you're more likely you're more likely to uh, be be um, uh, be um, in solitude you're more likely to want to rest you're more likely to want to uh, avoid acting you're more li more likely to avoid uh, exercise you're more likely to avoid um, socializing etc so just those those factors that I've just mentioned just now can actually massively have a have a massive effect um, on their own for example if you choose to be less social based on the fact that you're stressed twice as much as person B you're gonna have it's, it's easy. It's, it's, you could easily argue that your social circle will be twice as uh, small, twice as small as person B, and therefore um, ha you have twice as small of a chance of succeeding in terms of a um, progression in a in a corporate structure or in a business or in an in a um, in an organization than person A, and um, you have. And you could argue also that your economic or financial situation throughout your life is going to be twice as or half as good as person B and therefore um, that could separate that could be the the defining line between you living in the poverty line um, and you being um, in the middle class so as you can see this series of causation is is pretty big and that's just based on one uh, genetic aspect genetic function one genetic uh, one outcome of um, the way your genes uh, what your genes can do take for example mental, mental illnesses or even cancer cancer is a, uh, especially breast cancer in women uh, and males as well, or women uh, breast cancer is a um, breast cancer is a genetic factor um, you can get uh, breast cancer even though even if you um, you don't carry the breast cancer gene but having the breast cancer gene almost certainly means that you will have breast cancer um, so that's a genetic thing and um, <coughs> Genes determine your height. Genes determine your eye color. Genes determine your hair color. Genes and and height is, uh, is one of is the most attractive. Uh, it's been scientifically proven height in males is the most attractive factor in in males when it comes to heterosexual fe heter heterosexual females in t in determining a mate. So when it comes to finding a partner, height is the most important. So if you're very short, that's that down to genes. That's definitely not down to environment. It's the majority down to genes. So a lot of the things that that um, that uh, happen in your life are determined by genes. Not all of them, but majority of it. So 
um, when you when a lot of people criticize other people you need to understand that there's a, gen a huge genetic factor that's in play as opposed to somebody being uh, being a free uh, free thinker or having free will um, take the example of the size of your lips the size of your lips are determined by genes the size the amount of hair that you grow is determined by genes somebody can somebody can um, suffer from depression just based on the fact that take a, take a female females don't usually grow facial hair or as much facial hair as men uh, there are there are various diseases or various conditions which cause females to grow hair on their face, um, and um, that's that's a genetic thing. Uh, that that that's down to carrying a, a gene that causes that to happen. That can cause depression. That could cause uh, somebody to become um, uh, to keep to themselves, which could have a whole host of negative factors. Um, so genes play a huge part in, or probably the biggest part in um, shaping your life, and that's why I feel like studying.